Okay. Is God a bill collector? And I'm asking this because of paying tithes. But sometimes we get into a habit of just paying tithes and, and it seems like the, that we take our monies and um, we fit God in to the place where we begin to feel like that he is just another bill that we pay. So, you know, I I kind of feel like that I'm paying God, you know, to be God in my life. And that's not, that's truly not what God is wanting out of us. Um, let me grab my Bible real quick. Malachi. <clears throat> Turn over to the book of Malachi. It's the last book in the Old Testament, right before St. Matthew. And, um, you know, I want to read what God has in mind here. The word tithe actually means a tenth. And um, I want to read a, a few verses here, probably from about uh, verse 7 um, yeah about verse 7 actually it starts in 8 but I want to read 7 because I want you to know what God had in mind for tithes okay verse 7 even from the days of your fathers ye are gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But you said, Wherein shall we return? Okay, that's the question. Okay, and and what God here is wanting here is a is a method of respect and a method of blessing, a, a method of honoring him that he may honor you. You know, my my children, uh, some of them don't come and see me. Well, I've decided to stop going to see those ones that don't come to see me. You know, and this is, this is the same thing that God has in mind here. Verse 8 says, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Um, when you break off your relationship with God, you you naturally just fall into a curse. But it says, Bring ye, in verse 10, all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may <clears throat> be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open a... Uh, you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it so it's a method now is, is God a bill collector the answer might surprise you I'm gonna, I, I don't know if I just want to spring this on you but maybe I will God is a bill collector you know but it's not without due and it's not without blessing you know uh, the mentality of God is that God has created and God has kept and God has fashioned the method of blessing and I'm, I'm almost beyond words of trying to explain the way that God has set this up because God is so much wiser than me 
and uh, okay, I'm gonna, let's make it. Let's take this and turn it and make it into salvation. Uh, uh, paying for salvation. The salvation had to be paid for. You say, yeah, but we don't pay for it. Well, that's true. We don't pay for it because it's already been paid for. Okay, just let me get this down here and get <coughs> settled back a little bit. I can talk at you. Um, the, and this is what I'm saying. God is a bill collector. Um, Christ had to pay the bill. And the method that we get into this is that we have to file bankruptcy. Now, there's a lot of laws in the bankruptcy. They all reflect in what Christ has done for us on the cross. Um, <clears throat> and I think I've already covered that in another video. But un unless we take the method God has chosen, then we, st we are still owing the bill. And the reason that we pay tithes and offerings is because uh, this is the same type of blessing God is willing to pour out upon us. And it's, it's not like we just, we, we owe God anything. And it's, and it's certainly not seed faith giving. There is no such thing as seed faith giving. You plant a seed, you go in, you put your money in and no, God blesses you because of where your heart is. There are some people. Okay, the 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 woman with the that gave the two mites. The little, I think she was a widow woman. She gave two mites. Jesus said she gave more than them all. So she should have received more than them all, right? <laughs> According to the word of the Lord. So God don't bless you upon how much you give, or. Uh, or even necessarily how faithful you are in your giving but God blesses you on where your heart is when you're giving and in that fashion see God wants to collect the bill but he doesn't want to collect what's in your hand God wants to collect what's in your heart paying God faithfully is because you love him you care for him see what's in your heart makes you do that steady thing every day and that's how God is a bill collector Okay. All right. God bless. Thank you for joining me. We'll come again next time. Have another great subject right here across in the middle of ministry.